Former State Representative Ron Sandak was a constant presence on social media. That is, until he made the headlines last fall for being involved in a sextortion scandal that led to his resignation. GOP State Representative Ron Sandak chose to end his political career, apparently after getting tangled up in what is known as sextortion. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Castro says cases like Sandak's are becoming more common. Basically, anyone that has access to the Internet is vulnerable. According to Downers Grove police reports, Sandak connected with an unidentified female in her 20s using Facebook and Skype. Police say the woman recorded their video interactions and threatened to make them public if he did not send her money. After Sandak allegedly sent her $3,000, the woman demanded even more money. Sandak reported the incident to police, who later discovered the case was part of a nationwide sextortion scheme launched by scammers in the Philippines. In a statement, Sandek said, I was the target of an international crime ring focusing on high-profile individuals, luring them to engage in inappropriate online conversations with the intent of extortion. I took their bait and fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. While the Philippines scheme targeted adult men, including another state legislator in Nebraska, police say children are far more vulnerable to sexual extortion. Last month, a 24-year-old Massachusetts man was arrested after allegedly posing online as Justin Bieber in order to solicit nude photos of a 9-year-old California girl. FBI agent Castro warns that easy access to the Internet makes children even more vulnerable to this crime. Sextortion is probably one of the biggest sexual crimes that we have right now that is a threat to young children. A lot of times predators will portray themselves as someone else on the Internet. In 2009, that's what happened to Ashley Reynolds in Phoenix, Arizona. Reynolds was only 14 when she was first contacted online by someone who claimed to be a teenage boy. He said he had nude photos of her and threatened to distribute them to her friends if she didn't send him a topless photo. She was terrified and sent him that photo, but that wasn't enough. The suspect demanded even more sexually explicit photos. He was not going to stop, and he was set on sharing my picture with whoever he could to ru ruin my reputation. I felt like a slave. I had to... I had to make sure I replied to every message. Reynolds' nightmare ended after her parents found out about the abuse she was suffering and reported it to police. Authorities arrested 26-year-old Lucas Michael Chancellor, who under several usernames was able to use the Internet to victimize nearly 350 teenage girls. He was sentenced to 105 years in prison. People sometimes think these cases are matters of teenagers doing sort of innocent sexting kind of run amok. And it is not that at all. These are cases of sometimes really unspeakable brutality. Benjamin Wittes is a senior fellow at the Brookings Institute who conducted the first sextortion study last year. He examined 78 sextortion cases and found the targets of this crime are overwhelmingly minors such as Reynolds. And the offenders usually have not one but many victims. Cases that we looked at there were nearly 1,400 victims identified. The estimates of the actual number of victims range between three and 6,000. Witte says exact numbers are difficult to track because unlike other internet sex crimes, such as revenge porn, there are not specific laws against sextortion and prosecution can be difficult. When the victim of a sextortion crime is a minor, the law punishes that crime either under the child exploitation statutes or under the child pornography statutes very severely. The cases that only involve adult women are significantly underpunished and that Congress and the state legislatures should really take a look at that. Meanwhile, Ashley Reynolds has moved on with her life. Now 21 years old, she helps the FBI to raise awareness about the issue. I want to help someone who is in this situation that gets overlooked all the time. It's just, we weren't raped. We're overlooked because nobody actually touched us.